Hi again guys, so another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today. This time for one of my personal favourite cars in the game, the Ford GT40. This is the race car version, the Golf liveried version. So you want your racing soft tyres as always. I've got the ride height relatively high for this kind of car on 90, but it still is very close to the ground so I decided not to slam it right to the floor. Uh, I've rounded off the springs to 11.50 and 11.85, the damper's on 4, anti-roll and camber slightly higher than usual on this car because obviously it's old and it's got a lot of power, so anti-roll on 5 as you can see and camber on 2.5 because I do also use it as a track car, we've got neutral tow as always so it's not dragging its wheels, as far as the gearbox we've got the auto setting set to 255 with a final drive of Four, and I don't think I've adjusted any of the individual gears. I'm pretty sure I haven't. As far as the diff, same as always, low initial torque to reduce wheel spin, high acceleration and low braking. You want your high RPM turbo and your downforce set as low as possible, obviously. Traction control I would recommend having off because it is much quicker. And yeah, so like I said, I really, really like this car. I always have. It's It's been one of my favourite cars of the Gran Turismo series ever since I started playing Gran Turismo back in Gran Turismo 2. And I think I just love everything about the car. I love the golf colours. I love the sound the car makes. Um, I love the proportions of the back end. It's always reminded me of like a, an apple for some reason. I don't really know why, but whatever. I guess it's the big hips on the side. But yeah, just a really nice car. I mean, obviously it's one of the most expensive cars on Gran Turismo 6, it's 20 million. But if you've got the patience to save up for it, I really would recommend it. Because although you're not going to necessarily set new world records with it, it is a really, really nice car. Um, it's lovely to drive. If you tune it properly, it's perfectly controllable and it's seriously quick. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice car, and an interesting little thing about this car for me is that this is the only car on Gran Turismo 6 that I actually don't want them to convert to premium, because this car doesn't have an interior, as you can see, but I don't want it to have one, and I don't want them to update the graphics, because for me, the graphics on this car are, well, they're nostalgic for me. It reminds me of back in my earliest Gran Turismo days, and I just prefer that. I would rather have that nostalgia than than uh, updated graphics just for the sake of it. But yeah, it's, it's a great car. I would highly recommend having it as a long-term saving goal. And yeah, I hope this tune setup helps, and as always, thanks for watching.